Don't you hate it when your equipment fails when you're out in the field? Well, that's what happened this time. I was out at this drive-in theater and my microphone was not recording the audio very well. It was going in and out and in and out and it was extremely shaky and quakey and windy and all that stuff. So I just dumped the audio. And I figured I will kind of just take you through the images like I did last week uh, from the comfort and warmth of my basement here in Yorkville, Illinois. This is where I'm talking about how I really love the nostalgia and timelessness of the drive-in theater and how it was a staple for when I was in high school. We would go out and we'd sneak kids in. You know, kids would ride in the trunk of the car. And we would sneak them into the drive-in movie and, you know, sneak in beer and all that stuff. And have just a great time. And, uh, yeah, all those good old memories and nostalgia of the drive-in theater. And that's really what drove me to go back and shoot these images. So thanks for coming back to the channel. I'm really sorry about the audio and I just hope you like the pictures. I really like them. I got some good ones. Some that really bring me back to a time that's uh, long gone away. But uh, thank you. Hit the old like button. Hit the old subscribe button and uh, we'll see you soon. When I think about the drive-in theater, the first thing that pops into my mind is those old audio boxes that you would hang off the window in your car. And uh, So I definitely wanted to get a shot of that, and this was actually the only one I could find at this drive-in theater. I shot it at F11, and in post-processing I had to burn in a uh, few areas on the actual box to try to get it to pop and, and bring a little life to it and actually bring the viewer's eye right to the box which is obviously the uh, focus point of this image for me but uh, the sunset certainly didn't hurt the overall picture either. Same image but in black and white and I'm not sure which one I like better. I like this one quite a bit, too. Let me know what you think. Who didn't like walking up to the refreshment stand with mom or dad to get a bucket of popcorn or some milk duds or some pop or whatever? Just something sweet to go with your movie. Um, yeah, and this is probably one of my favorites of this set. Just based off, I really love the light on the front of the building. And there's just kind of like an epicness, a cinematic, old school feel to this image. It was really captured what I was going for when I went out to the drive-in. This one I really like because there's just a 60s feel to it. I love the tones and I love uh, you know just there's a loneliness to this image and I really like that. This one I purposely composed it so I could use those dead trees in the background to show how the area is kind of turning into a desolate wasteland. And if you look up into the right part of the image, you'll see that the old stands that would hold the speakers now look like tombstones in a graveyard. Not the ideal way to look at the old drive-in theater, but uh, I felt that it worked for this image. This one I shot at a high aperture, I believe F18, looking right into the sun so I could get that starburst effect. I like it. Very nostalgic. So for this one, I really just wanted to show how the sun is setting, both literally 
and figuratively uh, the drive-in theater as we all know these things are going away and going to be a thing of the past in the not too distant future so obviously I exposed for the sky wanted to get that right and then keep the screen of the theater in uh, dark and I, I actually burned it in a little more to make it a little bit darker So in this one, what I really, really like about it is how it's gritty, but at the same time, it's soft. So, which is, you know, those two things usually don't go together, but there is a softness to it and a grittiness to it. And I, I really, really like that. 